In the lab we're going to do today, we're going to look at flame tests. So what you'll see here is um, a PDF where you need to print the lab procedure and write on it. When um, we come up here, our purpose is to observe and identify metallic ions using flame tests. Um, flames can be different colors. Uh, if you've ever been to camping and you've thrown like a newspaper into a fire, you'll notice the flames there are different colors. They have different inks. Um, you can even order birthday cakes where the flames will have different colors now. Um, and, and why we see that effect is um, related to the temperature of the flame, but it's also related to what's being burned. And so candles and wood fires have slightly different colors in the yellow range, um, but when there are contaminants, you can sometimes see the greens, the reds, the blues. Um, and the color of the flame can really help us kind of figure out what's being burned. So the characteristic yellow of a candle flame comes from the glow of burning carbon fragments. And the carbon fragments are produced by the incomplete combustion of the wick and the candle wax. And so when elements like carbon are heated to high temperatures, some of their electrons are excited to higher energy levels. And so those electrons can jump up, they go, wee, they get really excited. And so when these excited electrons fall back down to lower energy levels, they release excess energy in these packages of lights that we call photons or sometimes light quanta or quantum, sometimes you'll hear. And the color of the light that's emitted depends on its energy. So blue light is more energetic than red light, for example. Um, so when heated, each element will give us a characteristic color, um, which then we can relate back to their energy. So what we're going to do is we are going to do some flame tests. Now we're going to deviate a little bit from what they say here, and I'll show you that in a second. So, you know, of course, it's going to say click this link for a flame test, but this is a PDF, so the link isn't going to work. So instead, you need to start that chemistry inorganic lab again. And so you'll just click here to start that. I've already pulled it up. And so what you need to do is you, and I'm going to do this a little out of order, but you are going to do a flame test for sodium, potassium, barium, strontium, and copper. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill the flame color in here. Now, I want you to notice it says sodium here, and it's sodium plus, so it's the ion, so it's lost an electron, and then the color of sodium in front of a cobalt glass. Now, these are not different elements. It's the exact same thing. We're just going to use that cobalt glass to help us tell the difference between sodium and potassium because originally they look like the same color if we don't use this cobalt glass. So that's what the cobalt glass helps us do, is it helps us differentiate those two colors. Then you're going to look at barium, strontium, and copper. So let's look at how we're going to do this. First, we're going to take a test tube and let's look at sodium first. So we are going to find sodium. Sorry, it took me a second to do that. And so what you then do is then you click on the flame and I want you to look over here. And what's happening is they're taking a rod with sodium in it, like a metal wire, and they're putting it in a Bunsen burner. And you can see that the flame here now is kind of a yellow orange. And so that's the flame. Now, if you want to see the flame and there's a there's the cobalt glass in front of it, that that's where you well, that's where you click. Sorry, I clicked twice. And so you would watch over here, and now that same wire is there, and that's the color of the flame there. Now it's the same substance, right? We're just using the cobalt to help us separate out some of those orange colors. So you are going to do sodium, you're going to do potassium, barium, strontium, and copper. Now, it also says you're going to do four unknowns, but I want you to do something a little different for your four unknowns. I want you to come here to where it says unknowns and where it says practice unknowns, where it says create an unknown. Um, I want you to clear this. Sorry, if that broke up a little bit, it's because I hit a button and didn't mean to. All right, so I want you to come here and I want you to clear this. And I want you to look at all of the ions here. And what you're going to do for your four unknowns is you are going to find, you are going to look at and test four different things. So you are going to choose something that's not sodium, potassium, barium, strontium, and copper. And so if you're like, 
I really want to know what Mercury looks like. Choose that, create your unknown, right? There's your unknown that's been created. Pull it here. It says uh, UNK on it. And then use a flame test using that, okay? And so then once you're done, right, you can come down here to this clear. There's a, there's a clear button. Let me see if I can pull the lab up just a little bit so that you can. Well, that's not helpful. There we go. There's a clear lab button here, and you can clear that and then create an other unknown, right? And so I want you to, to I'm going to let you choose. So you choose four different things that you would be interested in. You're going to answer two questions. It says the energy of color light increases in the order from red to yellow to green to blue and violet. You need to list the metallic elements used in the flame test in increasing order of energy. You're only going to do it for these, the sodium, potassium, barium, strontium, and copper, not for your unknowns. And then, right, you're going to explain what the purpose of using the cobalt glass and the identification of sodium and potassium is. So you will handwrite this and you will upload it to Canvas. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions.